For our bodies in dinosaur here, we will be undetectable to all dinosaurs. Okay, who's next? It's not that bad. Check that. It's starting to burn my eyes a little bit. Did not plan for that. The film is an out-and-out -out comedy meshed with all of the excitement you would expect with dinosaurs. <laughs> It's okay. You can't cross. It's terrible depth perception. <sighs> Not what you call an athlete. Rick Marshall unfortunately makes some statements at the beginning of his adventure about how stupid the Tyrannosaurus Rex is. His brain is the size of a walnut. Sure, his sense of smell may be acute, but eyesight, hearing, all of his higher functions, completely compromised by that walnut-sized brain. Grumpy hears this and and hunts him down for the rest of the movie. I mean, forget about the Polish. <laughs> it's the T-Rexes who are the real dummies of the world. In fact, Chaka, funny story. Run! Spread out! It'll confuse them! You ever get tired of being wrong? I do! I really do! When I have a grumpy appears, it seems that we all kind of go, <gasps> and everything goes very chaotic. Wait, 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 we need a photo. Oh, nice field skills, Holly. Well, down there, we need you for scale. Scale! Uh, Marshall, do we need the red eye feature? Yes, his eyes do look red. Just take the picture! Hey, just stay still! Stand still, please. Okay, ready. One, two, three! Fantastic, run! Run like hell! It's a personal grudge that the dinosaur has for, uh, for Marshall and vice versa. <laughs> Outside of the Flintstones, the first time you'll see a human riding a dinosaur. Ah! He's the real deal, and will come across as a very dimensional, very lethal um, opponent. It just so happens that his his opponents are, you know, a bunch of goofballs. He's incapable of proper course correction. Try running a serpent.